Hey guys, Steven here. Happy New Year. <sighs> Haven't driven this truck since last year. <clears throat> Anyways, in today's video, I'm actually going to be talking about something about this F-150. This is just Stay tuned for the rest of the video. So far the broken odometer hit 51,727 miles. Still got a check engine light, seatbelt lights on too because I'm not buckled. Still got on fuel, gotta let this thing warm up. Oil pressure's good and the battery's good. <laughs> automatic transmission because in trucks like automatic cars, like a Mustang, manual. And I also got a new tire. That's a new tire. Uh, got into the dump. Anyways, no AC, but there is heat, which is awesome. Brakes work, but they're kind of bad. Windshield wipers are kind of wearing out. A lot of junk in the back, stuff like that. But anyways, I'm gonna go take this stuff to the landfill. Plus, I gotta go to my grandpa's house to get some stuff from him to take to the landfill as well. Plus, my dad's there. Then we'll get back home and discuss more of this truck. All right, guys, we are back home. Emptied out the truck bed. For a little bit more information on this F-150. It is a 1997, also a base model, so it's like real basic. Like I mentioned earlier, the windshield wipers are crappy. I think I'm, I forgot to mention if the brakes bad or crappy. No cruise control. Just pretty basic. Popped hood as well. Kinda need to let it cool down so I can check the fluids. That is actually a brand new battery. Got it this year. I didn't make a video on that, but I did have to get a new battery. That solenoid is brand new. I, I replaced that when I thought the issue was solenoid when it turns out it was something like like around the steering column. Get in the truck really quick. So anyways, this, this year, 2021, is possibly gonna be the last full year I ever owned this truck. And I'm gonna just, I might try to replace it around the five year anniversary of owning it in 2022. And I'll be 21 around there. So I'm definitely going to miss this thing. Like, it's, it's a nice little truck. I enjoy having a single cab. But in the next truck, I want a back seat. So a full four-door F-150. I'm sticking with Ford. Sorry, Chevy and Dodge guys. I definitely want cruise control in the next truck. I don't have any AC in this one, so definitely AC and heat. Sometimes the headlights don't like to work on this thing, so definitely make sure the headlights work and everything. I'm definitely not getting another base model for now. As, um, but I do like the manual windows. Not so much on the, sometimes not so much on the power locks. Like if I'm in danger, I want to be sure I can get in the truck. Like the click of an unlock button, then get in, press lock button. Then I'm back in. I'm not going to get into which generation F-150 I, I want to get. Because we still have plenty of time. And i got plenty of time to save up for a new truck. This one's doing pretty good. Proud of it. And I'm glad I have it too. It's been pretty reliable over the 
past few years I have had it. We've had it since end of June of 2017, so it's been holding up pretty good. I've had a few issues here and there, but all vehicles are going to have that. Yeah, it's just been a pretty good truck. And I'm definitely sticking to trucks, especially since I need one to pull my camper. <sighs> so, yeah. Expect a new truck sometime around 2022 or 2023. just depends on how much money I have saved up. But anyways, that's the end of this video. Hope all of y'all enjoyed. Please be sure to subscribe. Be sure to thumbs up this video. Thumbs up any of my videos. Get your friends to watch my channel. Get them to subscribe. Still got the review of this F-150 coming out very soon. Probably when it gets warmer. And I'm going to try to start uploading more and more videos this year. Because here and there I actually start to slack. And yeah. I'll just see y'all in the next one.